So CSVD minus F, and let's export this uh, all the objects inside of the C10 and export it. Let's say export it CSV. And let's go ahead now in my computer under C10. We're gonna have the exported CSV file. Here are the object, all the uh, Active Directory object. As you can remark, this is the uh, LDAP attributes. And also all the data. As a second step, I will show you how to import uh, some object inside of the uh, Active Directory. Say that you have an enterprise, a newly created one, and you want to add uh, a bulk of users and computers inside of the uh, Active Directory database. How to do that? I've prepared uh, a small file in order to demonstrate this. So, here are the LDAP attributes and the date. And as you can remark, all the levels or uh, the data as well as the uh, LDAP attribute are, attributes are uh, separated by the Akama and here is the domain name as you can see and I used a uh, double count here with a CSV file and by the way I have a Excel uh, installed in my, this machine in order to uh, show the CSV file uh, in an appropriate form. So let's go ahead and copy all this and paste it in a newly created uh, Excel file. Let's give it the name uh, imported. Imported. Okay. Okay. Let's paste this in the first cell, and uh, then we separate the uh, the levels, the LDAP attributes, and uh, as well as the information. We go to the data, and then convert. Let's. Uh, use a comma in order to separate uh, the data as well as the LDAP uh, attributes. Okay, I have something wrong here, but we just, we don't worry about this, we just copy and paste uh, the rest of the domain name for the computer field and move this uh, double code. Now we save this as a CSV comma separated file. It should be some comma separated, of course. Let's save it. Okay. Now as the CSV is created, as you can see here. We go ahead and uh, check out whether the test organization and event exists or not in the active directory user and computer. So the test organization and unit should be created. And remember that we give it the, the name of test, as you can see in this uh, file. So now we are ready to execute the command again csv d minus d for import minus f for the file and the, the destination. Or the location of the uh, imported CSV file. You should point to that uh, file in order to 
export uh, all the data inside of the Active Directory, the CSV. Now let's move on to the Active Directory users and computers in order to check whether the newly, object, the, the newly created objects are added or not. And as you can see, here are all my objects which are imported in, inside of the test organizational unit. So in this manner you can create a bulk of object, let's say a tons of objects, a hundred or a thousand of objects inside of the Active Directory by executing one command. So you need one file that is formatted according to the uh, to, um, let's say, this uh, this format. And then you generate a CSV file, as you can see here. And this file will be used in order to generate all the data, the acquired data, inside of the, our organizational unit here.